Bonjour, I'm Jean Lalonde, the developer of Quick Access Pop-Up. In this video, we will see how easy it is to install Quick Access Pop-Up using the easy setup installation file that you can download. And then I'll, I'll tell you a few quick tips using Quick Access Pop-Up. For those having special needs, we will see at the end of the video, of the video how to uh, install Quick Access Pop-Up in portable mode, but it's just for a minority of users. To install the software, you just double click on this quick access pop-up setup file. You will have to allow this application to be installed. You may need the password here, so it depends on your setup. And it will start the setup program here. You can choose various languages here. Let's keep English for this demonstration. And all you have to do is to click Next to accept uh, the uh, license agreement here. And for the next uh, pages, unless you have special needs, all you have to do is click Next and it will, it will select for you the, the installation folder and the startup uh, name and to create a startup uh, menu folder. All this is now summarized here and all you have to do now is to click Install. It will take a few seconds and the application is ready to be launched. You click Finish here and it will be launched. So you will see Quick Access pop up uh, in a few seconds with its uh, customized window. So it's already installed, it's ready to be used with the default menu that you have here. This menu can be seen by clicking the middle button of your mouse. So you see this menu, that is exactly what is included in your customized window. Uh, I invite you to take a look at the um, uh, first steps using Quick Access pop up video that will show you how you can make this menu works for you. Now, just a few tips that will help you uh, using Quick Access Pop-Up uh, easily. When you start uh, Windows, you will want Quick Access Pop-Up to be launched automatically. To do that, uh, see this icon here, which is the Quick Access Pop-Up icon in the notification zone. Right-click on it and make sure the Run at Startup menu is selected, that it is checked here. So that way, when you restart your computer, it will launch Quick Access Pop-Up automatically. The other tip is that sometimes this icon here will move and will be found under a second level list of icons. If you want to make sure that Quick Access pop-up icon remains in the visible section here, so right click on the taskbar, select taskbar settings and scroll a little bit and when you see select which icons appear on the taskbar in this list select Quick Access Pop-Up, make sure it is on for Quick Access Pop-Up, so that way this uh, icon will be easily available. And uh, there are various ways to show your menu, but you could show it by clicking on this icon. You could click right-click here to access various options, so this way it will be uh, easily available. So that's it for the easy setup installation. Uh, if you don't need more information about the portable zip file, you could stop this video here and switch to the first steps using Quick Access Pop-Up. But now for those having special needs, uh, for those, for example, who want to use Quick Access Pop-Up on various machines uh, to do support, for example, uh, and you don't want to install the application permanently on these computers. So using the portable ver version make it easy to install, execute, and then remove the application from uh, this computer. It al also allows to run Quick Access Pop-Up from a portable um, USB key that you can plug in any computer and use Quick Access Pop-Up from this USB key. If you don't have these special needs, you don't need to worry about the portable installation and you may use the easy setup file. So uh, to install Quick Access Pop-Up Portable, you will need some knowledge, not rocket science, but some knowledge on, on how to uh, at least uh, unzip uh, a file. So what you will have to do is to download not the easy setup uh, file, but the second link, which is called portable zip and it will um, download a zip file where you can extract uh, the content in the folder of your choice it can be any in any folder except uh, some protected folders for example the C root drive should not be used to install an application and also uh, folders under the C program files are protected so programs installed manually will not necessarily work 
correctly under this folder. But any other folder will work. It could be under your My Document even if you if you wish. After you extracted uh, the files, you will see two executable files. One called Quick Access Popup dash 32 bit and the other one quick access pop-up dash 64 bit so you can use one or the other depending on your system capability and then a quick access pop-up will will create its uh, initial setup files. This setup file will never be erased if whenever you need to, in, to install a new version of Quick Access Pop-Up, all you will have to do will be to extract the file from the new zip file and overwrite everything in your folder. Just make sure you quit Quick Access Pop-Up to allow the overwrite to work. So you quit Quick Access Pop-Up, you overwrite the new version over the previous one, and your setup files, the one that contains your menu items, will never be overwritten. And then you can start using Quick Access Pop-Up that way. Uh, to make it uh, easy to use Quick Access Pop-Up, you could uh, select the Run at Startup option, as we've seen earlier for the Easy Startup installation, and you will need to create a shortcut uh, on your desktop Stop or wherever will be convenient for you to make it easy to launch quick access pop-up. So that's it for the portable installation. I hope uh, this helps you. If you have uh, more questions, do not hesitate to visit the quickaccesspopup.com website, the forum, the support forum, and I will be happy to see you there. Thank you.